Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The appointment today of Sir Vince Cable as the new Lib Dem leader at the sprightly age of 74 sent us scurrying through the history books. It's not just that he's the oldest party leader since Churchill stepped down at the age of 81 in 1955. He's also now one of a trio of party leaders, Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, of course, as well as Sir Vince, whose combined age is the highest since the days of Churchill Attlee and the Liberal Clement Davis. Uh, there was a star of Strictly Come Dancing, there's surely no doubting Sir Vince's stamina. Vince Cable likes to cycle. In fact, he pretty much cycles everywhere. It may explain how he's found the energy to become the oldest person to lead a political party since Winston Churchill. So this is your sanctuary? It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I met him at home, a treasure trove of artefacts and books neatly ordered. Politics, security, environment, economy development. But you say there is some fun stuff. Yes, no, it, I, 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 love, I love novels. It, in a sense, I lost my seat. I then started writing, and then I produced my first novel. It appears next month on the Edinburgh Book Festival. Brilliant. Are you going to miss that, that sort of time to be able mm. to do... do well, it, stuff? It, yes, uh, but I miss the politics more. Indeed, so much more. He fought to win his seat back in June and was today crowned the party's leader, where he set out his vision. What we now need is an exit from Brexit. But that is a stance that did nothing Brexit, for his predecessor at the election. One of the central messages that we had in the campaign, which was about the second referendum, was misunderstood or were not properly communicated. People thought we were harking back to the referendum we just had and we weren't. But what we're basically saying is that if in two years' time, you know, we finish up in a disastrous position. Uh, the British public have got the, should have the right to say no. And what about suggestions he's too old to lead? As it happens, you know, at the moment, we have a whole generation of older people, you know, in leadership positions in, in, in British political parties. I think that's just happened. As you say, we've got Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, you, mm. all over 60. Is this the revenge of the elderly? No, I, I don't think it's revenge. I mean, I think what you see in politics at the moment, you see a mixture of people of my generation, and but equally in other places in France, you've seen you know young people breaking through. He does, of course, have a big fan base, helped by his appearance on Strictly Come Dancing. Today, he denied he's agreed his latest role will be temporary. There is no such arrangement. I'm, I'm taking on this job for as long as it's necessary, and if it's a long parliament, I'm there for that long parliament. Sir Vince knows that he has an awful lot to do, but he wants to get stuck in and start reshaping politics. Emily Morgan, News at 10 in Twickenham.